You never know with him. Good job, Slate. It is what it is. I mean, uh, listen, football's not really meant to do kind of joint practices, but they're great, uh, I think, to get better, to get looks from other teams. Um, you, you have to create kind of that working tempo, working environment. Um, sometimes that doesn't kind of go how you plan, um, but I think it's, it's awesome to see. We're always going to support each other, our team teammates having each other's back. Obviously, we know as we get in – to games like we play Friday. There's a lot of things you just can't do in the game. Um, but I thought we did a good job of coming out here and competing. Um, now it's getting ready to go Friday. And I think now it's learning um, what we'll see soon as we get in season, how to take the last practice, continue to study, build for the game. You know, today's kind of like a Friday. Then you have the day before the game. You still have to now get ready to go Friday to play a good game. And I think that's also uh, a learning process for us as a unit for young guys. Uh, so we just got to kind of relish in that and take advantage of it. For one, for one, he gets going. I don't, I know how you guys see him here. Uh, you kick off, kick off return. He gets, he gets going when he gets going, you can imagine guys see the oldest one of the oldest guys get going um, but no it listen it comes down to being in there with your teammates I think that's how every individual on this team is something gets going and listen they're the same way that's why almost everything that happens you guys see and it looks like a big scram because every player goes in there to make sure that another player is safe um, but it, it's a part of it uh, listen we get all the way there at the end of the practice with Joe Cardona and the Navy, the Navy, and guys are side by side. Like we all understand that football is a different environment. You get in between those white lines. Um, for all you guys, whether it's Pop Warner, high school, you've competed and played sports against probably siblings, brothers, best friends, sisters. Like you get in there, you're going. Like, and I think we're all the same way. But at the end of the day. Uh, you know, we all understand we're playing a game and it's time to turn it off when it's time to turn it off. Uh, but when it's time to go, you got to go. Devin, Matthew you mentioned think, uh, that, um, that he hadn't seen the hit, but he was told many times it was clean. Did you see the play that resulted in Christian? I, I, I didn't see the play. I, I just saw the kind of aftermath um, and, you know, the rest was history. Okay. Is that what upset you or what was your reaction? Because that's what Matthew conveyed. That it was yeah, I mean, we've seen our guy laid out on a, in a period I, I would say is not really necessary for that. Um, put practice a little bit on the edge, which is to be expected. Go ahead. I was just going to say, just your thoughts on Marcus and Jack and what you've seen out of them so far this camp. Oh, man, it's been fun, man. I think both those guys uh, hungry, eager, uh, ready to go. Um, I think Jack is, is a guy that, you know, you can see his football instincts, uh, great feet. Um, you can kind of see what he's able to do. Uh, and Marcus is, is my guy, he sits by me in meetings. I'm cracking on him all day. Um, but I think he wants to learn so much. Obviously, he's playing a little bit everywhere in our defense, inside, some safety type stuff. Um, but I love both those guys. I love how they've come in, want to learn, want to get better. And another guy is Schooler. Like, Schooler's come here. He's been a lot on special teams. You saw him make some plays at the end of practice. Um, I think we actually we have a really good rookie group. Um, that have come in ready to learn. Um, we've gotten them better at their rookie duty, some of the things they need to do. Uh, they've done better of that, of keeping our meeting room uh, the way we need it to be. So great group of uh, young men and excited for all of those guys' future. Devin, Devin what have you been able to, to learn about Schooler out here? It seems like he's seen a, a lot of work with Matthew and Cody and the special teams. Guys. Yeah, and he's sticking on those guys. And obviously you guys saw Nate Ebner here yesterday, uh, came up, introduced himself to Nate. Um, he's just a guy that wants to learn. He understands a little bit how the NFL life is working, and he wants to take advantage of it. He has the opportunity between uh, JB, Justin Bethel, Cody, and Slate. I mean, in my time in the NFL, he has a chance to be around three outstanding special teams players, uh, and he understands that, and he's taking advantage of learning from them, going through drills with them, asking how they see things, uh, all the makings of being a really good veteran player someday. Don't ask me about being a coach. Yeah. Is it, 
this time of year, though, how do you get yourself ready, you know, to play? Because you're obviously going to play a ton. Like, how, how do you get yourself ready? It's a good question. Nobody ever asks me about myself. Um, <laughs> kind of fall in the routine, man. Uh, I love... I love these joint practices from the aspect of getting to see a different offense. Um, I hate when we go against our offense, we start cheating things you do. Like that's not always realistic to see the same offense 10 straight days or something like that. So getting a, a chance to go against this offense and, and seeing something different, um, just competing, man. I feel like I don't even think about getting ready to go now to the point is just kind of doing it day by day, routine, staying in my routine. Uh, I'm the hot tub specialist guy with my bath salts. You'll, You'll ask guys in the locker room if you go in my locker. Actually, AP has been stealing a lot of my bath salts. I have different kinds, different things that I do for different days. So it's making sure I get to do that uh, every day, staying in there uh, 35 years old. So I can't really miss the recovery days. Uh, my body needs that to be able to go the next day. And, you know, I just try to stay on top of it that way. Tough, man. Malcolm's kind of in my stratosphere of being older, and I think anytime you go through that, it's, it's tough mentally. Text him the other day, just I think for all of us, him, Jawan, like being positive, always being there for those guys. Um, I, I'm fortunate I've never been on IR, but I mean, the feeling of not always being around the team, the, the camaraderie, the brotherhood we build, you kind of miss some of that. So I think it's important within your group. Um, always staying in contact with those guys, encouraging those guys to come in, uh, just to continue to get that feeling. You know, just talking to retired players, that's what they miss the most, being able to walk into a locker room, you know, just sit around, hang out, laugh with the guys. So uh, just trying to make sure those guys always stay in the mix, group chats and different things like that. Uh, we always try to create that and keep that going.